In this demo, I've connected this Google spreadsheet to my Crossref website. I want my web visitors to be able to search through the spreadsheet from my website. So if we search, for instance, for New York, we can see that our search word is highlighted here. We can see that we have 14 hits. We're at page number one out of two. If we click the next button, we can see the last four search results. What we see here is a short presentation of the spreadsheet entry. However, the last columns here, phone one, phone two, etc., are not visible. If we click this button, however, we see the full presentation. Here we can also browse through the search result like this. If we click back, we can also sort the search result like this. The connection to the spreadsheet is live, so if we add a new row here at the end, then this is directly searchable like this. It's possible to combine several search fields like this. Give me all the last names beginning with an A in the state of New York. You can also use a question mark like this. The question mark indicates that we wish to find last names ending with land. You can also mask some characters like this. If you don't wish to use the search form, you can create links directly to your spreadsheet like this. So just by clicking, you can initiate a search for the state of New York. And here the user can see the search history. Since we're logged in as system administrator, we can take a look in the administration part of the system. To set this up, you, you create the Crossref site like you normally do. You create your fields and include these fields in a view. Then we click remote. Here you have your remote connections. You create a server node that you name Sheet. The server node consists of three parts, a URL part, a search part, and a retrieval part. The URL part is basically the URL to your spreadsheet here. This search query will be re replaced by Crossref and it uh, depends on what you type into the search form. The search part is a translation between the, the Crossref field codes and the spreadsheet columns, A, B, C, etc. refers to the columns here, A, B, C. And the search part here is used when you create the, the search query to the spreadsheet. And the retrieval part is a translation when you transform the search result back to Crossref.